Hi, I'm Christina Paschen with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. Today I'm joined by Jennifer Redner, a consultant for the International Women's Health Coalition, working on reproductive and sexual rights and health issues, including maternal health and child marriage. Thanks for joining us, Jennifer. Thank you so much for having me. So let's talk about maternal mortality. What kind of numbers are we dealing with globally? Estimates vary, but in, in, in the general range of what we're talking about, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of women and girls are dying from pregnancy-related complications each year. For all of those that die, many more survive, but experience pregnancy-related disabilities. There's five leading causes of maternal deaths worldwide, the first of which is severe bleeding, the second of which are infections, the third of which is unsafe abortions, the fourth of which is eclampsia, which is convulsions from high blood pressure, and the fifth is obstructive labor when the baby cannot pass through the canal. Many people think that maternal mortality and child marriage are two separate issues. Can you explain how they're related? When you have young girls, some as young as 10, 11, 12, getting married young with strong pressure to, to begin bearing children very quickly and in quick succession, their bodies simply are not ready for both the sex act as well as the pregnancy. And so this puts them at much higher risk for death. Girls who have children under the age of 15 are five times more likely to die in childbirth than a woman who has a child between the ages of 20 and 24 years old. Pregnancy and child marriage are sensitive topics in many countries. How is the International Women's Health Coalition trying to combat these problems while still respecting communities, particular traditions and cultures? The work of the International Women's Health Coalition is embedded in communities overseas. The mission of the coalition is that every woman and girl has the right to a healthy and just life. And to secure that, it requires working with communities in those communities to help them and work with them to realize their goals and their aspirations. So by working in those communities and educating them while being respectful of where they are coming from, they're able to realize the change that they want to see occur rather than us telling them what needs to happen. Here at the Poultry Center, we have several journalists reporting on maternal mortality and child marriage, and soon we'll be launching a new Poultry Center gateway called Dying for Life, which will cover maternal mortality in depth. What do you think of the media's coverage of these topics overall? In terms of really talking about the root causes of these issues, it tends to be absent from the media and that's one of the reasons why the Pulitzer Center is so critical because the time to take to gather all the facts, tell a strong story and tell it in a very in-depth way doesn't usually occur. So having a website that goes into this and consistently has this type of information is really, really important because a variety of audiences can access it at any given time.